the 12 to 6 elbow. Let me ask you, I mean, is it frustrating? Because obviously, I mean, it's, it's a weird rule that most people don't even really like, but it is a rule, and it, it definitely through the 12 to 6. But is it frustrating for you at all to think, you know, now people are going to point to that again and say, well, the, the fight changed because of that? Yeah, people are always going to point to something. These checks are going to cash, and I have another win on my record and another step closer to fighting for a world title. So they can point and say what they want. I'm laughing all the way to the bank and all the way back home to my family with another win that I earned. Nothing's been given. And um, that's that, man. But during the fight, <clears throat> when the ref came over, I don't know, Eddie tapped me on the chest or on the, on the face. He did that right after the elbow because I told the ref. I said, no, when the ref said, hey, stop, that's illegal, or whatever he said, I said, no, it didn't land, I'm fine. I said that, and Eddie's like, you know, I, I told him. I said, I'm good. And uh, then the ref came up to me in the corner when he stood us up, and he said, that was an illegal strike, and I'm taking the position away from Eddie. Man, it's out of my hands, man. Yeah. You know, whether he did it on purpose, but it, that one didn't hurt me. You know, that I, I let them know. Like, I'm fine. No, they didn't even land. It landed on my neck or my shoulder. I'm good. It looked like also um, either before or after the, the, the elbow, and even while you had him in the guillotine, he was grabbing the cage. And I think, did you, did you notice that? Weird thing is, man, when I had the guillotine, he was trying to, like, drive up my body he stuck his finger in my ear and was like pulling my head down and the ref warned him and then he put his finger right back in my ear so i mean this is an old dog who knows a lot of tricks and i don't want to say somebody's a dirty fighter but first fight you need me second fight you try to elbow me illegally and you give me a wet willy there's got to be we got to draw the line somewhere uh this sport is more difficult than people thing it is and that's the point like I said the 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 worst thing in this sport is that one person win the other lose and you cannot take second place and people call you a loser but both fighters always uh, perform they spend so many weeks far away from the families and they work hard every day and you win you lose you're still a winner, you know, it doesn't matter. And people should check this the other way because they think that we training a, you don't have to prepare for so many weeks for the fight, 15 minutes, isn't true. It's not only about the one camp, eight weeks, or my, my camp before the second fight with Rose Namoinas was 11 weeks or even almost 12. And we have to prepare this way if you wanna be on, uh, on the top. But this fight was very important, like I said, and I want people to know more about this sport, how it, it looks before they call or they doubt someone. Like, they are saying that I lost to Rose twice and I'm not the strawy queen, but if you take all of the 10 rank strawweight fighters and you put them all together, they don't have that big legacy like mine. That's the point. And they can call me whatever they want to call. I know who I am and how big is my legacy, and I cemented that today. And I went through, through this. I won the belt, I was a very dominant champion, and I will do this one more time, because I'm not, I'm not only dreaming about the belt. I set already my goals, but I'm willing to put on work. And people can be only jealous and point at me and doubt me, but I will do my thing. I will become a champion again. And today, I did a, maybe for someone small step, but I did a very big, big step. And I'm closer to get what I wanna get. And I'm willing to put on work. Last week I said, I'm sick of it. I, I don't remember when I was on vacation. You see me hanging out at the pool. Sometimes if I have time, my pool is like right next to my apartment. I live 20 minutes from the beach. Last camp, you know how many times I went to the beach? one time because I didn't have time. And the point is that I was sick of it. I was homesick. I didn't spend enough time with my family. And I said, I need a break. But honestly, <laughs> I feel like even if Dana gonna call me that next week uh, I can fight in California, I will do this. <laughs> no problem at all. I feel so pumped up and I cannot wait to step into the octagon again. And I will go through this again. Te tears, blood, mental and physically tired, yeah? Tired, how is it, tired? tired. 
I can do this again because I am a real warrior. I was born for that and I will be a champion again.